Hello, welcome back to the Mark Janot Show, the tech show about hacking. In this video, I'm going to go over the simple steps to download Kali Linux's NetHunter, okay? So it is roughly nine steps and it's going to go by like this. So uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's go dark. <laughs> So the NetHunter support and pre-built images. So you can confirm that your device and Android version is supported via the Git, GitLab live reports, which is a list of quarterly published NetHunter images, NetHunter kernel statistics, NetHunter kernel table with the NetHunter team builds and publishes images for a selected list of devices on the official NetHunter download page. If the devices uh if the devices is supported by NetHunter but not available as a pre-built image you can easily build your own image by following the steps in the building NetHunter documentation putting your device in developer mode okay number two and remember we have nine so we're going by these like this before the installation begins you must enable developer mode on your device right this is done by navigating to settings and then about and tapping on the build number field seven times until you receive the notification that developer mode has been enabled. OK, go back to the main settings page and you will have a new section titled developer options. Right. Tap on the new developer options section and enable both the advanced reboot and Android debugging options. Now here is step three to five, okay? This is condensed. Now we are unlocking, routing, and installing a custom recovery on your Android device. NetHunter supports over 60 different devices running Android versions from KitKat through the Android Q. Whilst we standardize the NetHunter installation procedure, the steps to unlock, root, and install a custom recovery varies from device to device device and even differs between Android versions. The preferred custom recovery for NetHunter is TWRP. The preferred software to root the device for NetHunter is Magisk. So please refer to the appropriate guide to unlock, root, and install a custom recovery on your device from your preferred internet resource, such as the XDA developers forum. Number six, because that was three to five previously, we are flashing universal DM Verity and Force Encrypt Disabler. Here is an important note for Android 9, 10, and 11 users. Please ensure that you flash the universal DM Verity, Force Encrypt Disabler, and format the data partition prior to installing NetHunter. Magisk does not support user context changes on encrypted data partitions, which leads to errors when connecting to the Kali roots via S. Um, SSH, right? Which is the required key not available if the data partition is encrypted. Now here is seven to nine. This is condensed again. Installing the NetHunter image. Now that your Android phone is ready, transfer, right? The NetHunter image to it. Reboot in recovery mode and flash the zip on your phone. Once done, reboot and launch the NetHunter app to complete the setup. And if you like this video, please hit uh, that like button. I love you, okay? So here's an important note for Android 10 and 11 users. Please update the NetHunter app from the NetHunter store after flashing NetHunter. Android 10 introduced scooped storage, scooped storage restrictions, which prevents NetHunter from using the storage location we traditionally use to save configuration files. We are in the process of moving the location and implementing an uh, import slash export function, but updating the app after flashing NetHunter provides a workaround that allows us to continue accessing the current storage location until the new features are implemented. So uh, that was an overview of how to install NetHunter and maximize it for the Android users. Please hit the notification bell. Please hit the subscribe button. I love you. Stay safe. See you on the next video.